Hello again. Our guest today can be said to be in step with the times, both past and present. She's not an historian, nor a reporter. She is instead one of our foremost choreographers. Just back from her latest assignment in Estonia, please join us in welcoming the charming and talented Miriam Nelson. And now, here's your puckish man of the half hour. And my mother uh, brought me to a studio, and my first film was with Jane Powell, Song of the Open Road. And from that, uh, then I did a f another movie, <laughs> many others, teenage movies, at Monogram for Maurice Duke. You know, I did a lot of films there. But then I left California, and I went to Chicago. It was my favorite place. I grew up... I was 17, 18 years old. I became a comedian, nightclubs, you know. And my favorite place with Joni James and Shecky Green, we worked uh, around Chicago in nightclubs. And this lady I'm going to talk to, Miriam Nelson, right. from Chicago, yes, native. Yes. Tell me about it. I love Chicago. Well, I left there when I was too young to appreciate it. Oh, really? It too How old much. were you? But very well, young? about 14. 14? You know, I wasn't too sophisticated. But my mother was in charge of wardrobe at the Chez Paris in Chicago. All right. So I saw every performer that ever worked there. You know, oh, that was my favorite oh, thing. Oh, Sophie Tucker, Everybody. some of these days. Right. And Joe and E. Joe Ross. E. Joe Lewis. E. Ross. Joe E. Lewis. And I mean, Joe E. Lewis. That's right. right. That's right. right. That's they right. used to work together a lot. Yeah, I love Joe E. Lewis. Yeah, he was wonderful. Miriam. Yes. <sighs> dancer. Started as very young, evidently, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. singing and dancing. Oh, a little bit of everything. You had to. Did you work clubs around Chicago at the time? Or no, I was no. too young. Uh, you we would go out from dancing school and make five dollars, you know, to play right, a party right, or something. Right, right. But you <laughs> went to New York, did you? I went to New York. My mother and father were moving to New York, and uh, I studied there. I thought I knew everything about dancing when I uh -huh. went to New York because okay. I'd studied with such a wonderful teacher. And I got there, and it was totally different. Uh -huh. Where in Chicago, I was learning buck and wing. You know, right. Tap, but what a great tap. foundation, you know, mm -hmm. flail your arms around a lot and then I went to New York and I studied with Ernest Carlos and right. it was all wonderful little taps you know uh -huh. very uh -huh. very subtle first show yes uh, theater first your very very first what was it well the first theater show was a show called sing out the news mm -hmm. uh, Harold Rome wrote it uh -huh. and I didn't know at the time it was a very controversial show and a lot of politics in it but I didn't know what I was singing about most uh -huh. of the time uh -huh. But uh, that did was you study fun. singing at the time when you were a little year? bit, uh -huh. just a little bit. We but, all had to. Sing. But how did you become a director, choreographer? Oh, God. that word, choreographer. Can we have that word? Ooh, right. that word. No, well, everybody misses that one, and uh, I think I mentioned that nobody knows what it is anyway. What, what is it? We what, do. Does it what does it? What does a choreographer yeah. do? Not just tap. Yeah. No. Oh no, no, you have to know how to do really everything. Uh -huh. I've had to learn every kind of dancing. If I don't know it uh -huh. and I get a job, I go out and have to learn it, whether it's clog dancing or Irish now, which is so popular. What made uh, made you do it? Start. Maybe dance? Yeah, no. To, or to just choreograph. choreograph. Well, I, I didn't really think about it. I was going to be a star. I wanted oh, to you be wanted Eleanor to be Powell. Oh, sure, that okay. was my, my goal. Uh -huh. And um, I was in shows, Broadway shows, and somehow the a choreographer would always say, oh, come here, Miriam, help, do this step with help me, you. or right. you know, help me, or assist me. Yeah. And I assisted a lot of wonderful people. No credit, but what uh -huh. a great foundation. Bob and Alton was my favorite, you know, and he did, went on to do a lot of wonderful movies with Fred Astaire. And but you came to Hollywood very young out here to California. Yeah. You were signed to a contract with Paramount Studios. Right. Tell me about that. Well, you did I a really, lot of films as an actress, oh not yeah. just as a dancer, but oh, as an bit, actress. You know, never major, major, but I did a lot of them, yes. Uh -huh. um, when I came to California, I was here on a vacation. Uh -huh. And uh, I, the first day I was here, I ran into a dancer that I knew from New York. Uh -huh. He was now working at Paramount Studios, and mm -hmm. he said, Oh, you must come tomorrow, and I'll take you to lunch, and you'll see uh -huh. how they make movies. Right. So I did. And we went to lunch, and I could hardly eat. You know, I'd put the spoon up and see Ray Moland or Alan Ladd or, you know, all these <laughs> wonderful looking that people. The commissary was oh, full. It was filled with yeah. gorgeous people. And uh, as I was leaving, I heard this man's voice say, Hey, Franklin. And I turned around, and it was a man sitting at a big table up front, right. Buddy De Silva. Oh. He was the producer of the next to the last show that I was in in New York. Right. And he was now the president of Paramount Studios. Studios right. 
And he said, you know, what are you doing out here? I told him, and he said, you want to go to work? So I said, sure. So he told my friend Dancer, who he knew, to take me up to the business office in about a half an hour. Right. I went up and I signed one of those seven-year contracts. You got a seven-year contract. Well, they yeah. all were. I, it was right. kind of a stock thing. You uh -huh. know, they had the option. They could pick you up or leave you every, every they year. they sent you through school when they sent you through Well, they didn't at Paramount. Um, I started working 20th, right away. The 20th. 20th, I MGM, think, did. I think MGM always had schools. Yeah. Uh, in fact, they even talked to me once about, after I'd been there a while, about teaching uh -huh. style and mm -hmm. things to the young gals, and I was very young myself, but... Uh, I did a movie when I was a kid here, uh -huh. uh, one of the great the original Jolson story. <laughs> I was singing in that film What'd you as do? a Which little part? boy in the choir there, the oh, little, in sure. the temple, the little Jewish boy oh, singing with the yarmulke, <laughs> and uh, yes. you were in the film. Well, you, you know, know what we had in common. Yeah, yeah we had. But you were in this movie with mm -hmm. Eleanor Powell, uh, Parker, uh, uh, Evelyn Keyes. Keyes, right. Tell right. me about Evelyn Keyes. Because she was afraid when she was dancing the number of Liza. Yes. She couldn't look down. That, well, I, I have to that. tell you the story. I was hired to choreograph the number for her. For her. And I spent several weeks on the sound stage with the playback man. They'd already recorded the music with Al Jolson's voice on it. Right. And uh, so it was, how many ways can you come down a stair dancing and you know, right. tapping? One day I get the message, they're coming, they, <laughs> to uh -huh. see the number. Right. And in came all these chairs and ashtrays and things, and Harry Cohen, the head of the studio, right. Al Jolson, the director, the producer, Evelyn. That's right, it was a Columbia Pictures. That's right. That's right. So like 12, 15 people filed in, <laughs> and my heart started <laughs> pounding. And uh, then at one point they just said, Go on, let's see the number. Uh -huh. Nobody introduced me to anybody. I just did the number. Right. So when I finished, I'm waiting for a reaction of some kind, and I see them all huddled. You know, they're all looking to Mr. Cohen, I guess, to see what he thought first. I don't know. Uh -huh. And uh, then they had a big conference, and then he called me over and looked at me closer, and then he said, Evelyn, stand up next to her. Uh -huh. So Evelyn did, and then they had another conference, and then he said to me, would you double her? <laughs> so surprised, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know. So I said, I guess so, sure. Uh -huh. And uh, so they had a costume made for me and a red wig. It was uh -huh. kind of an updo. Right. And uh, I shot the number. So Evelyn really was only in the very beginning right. on a close-up. On the close-up, right. And then they told me, I was just told, you come down about three stairs, you have stage fright, you almost fall, right. and you get scared, and then you hear Jolson's voice, and he's in the audience, which you don't know, uh -huh. and then you're revived. You're right, yes. And so, in uh, when I do my little cruise that I told right. you about, when I tell this story, right. I say, well, I did the dance, but she took the bows. She took the bows, right. <laughs> right. Well, let's show the audi my audience of uh, oh, sure. this from the oh, Jolson story. Oh, I must story. tell you, too, that I, they cut the taps out because they thought his voice was more important, and here it was a big tap dance. They did. And I had already recorded all the oh. taps. Oh. And they took them all they out. They took it out, just yeah. kept Jolson's voice in. Right. Let's, let's listen to this, okay? Okay. Good, from the Jolson story. Sure. Liza, Liza, skies are gray. But if you smile on me, all the clouds will roll away. Liza, Liza, don't delay. Come keep me company, and the clouds will roll away.
interesting, Larry Parks, and uh, people didn't realize that was you dancing. No, they didn't advertise you at all about oh, this. No, they would never. They never do those days. They don't days. want anybody they don't want to know. To know they're no. singing and dubbing. That no. whole movie was dubbed. Oh yes, from, that's know, right. Larry's that, voice. Larry's it was all voice. Al Jolson. Al Jolson. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Al Jolson was great. He was alive then. Yes. Yes, he did a little shot in that movie. He did, yeah. Yeah, there was a long shot out yeah. on the ramp. I, I remember him. him very well. I, I yeah. met him at the radio station. Just mm -hmm. very brief, very brief. He was wonderful. Yeah. And he did a little funny tap step sort of thing. Uh -huh. And they may, had me go and watch that so uh -huh. that I could learn it and teach it to Larry Parks. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he was a great guy, wasn't he? Larry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love Larry. I do, he too. He was so he, sweet. Yeah. Such was, a sweet man. <laughs> Tell me about sweet. Uh, I love the daughter of Rosie O'Grady. <laughs> Tell me about is that twenty twentieth? Uh, no, that was Warner Brothers. Was that? Oh, that's right. Warner, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. Who was in that? Uh, oh I was thinking of Sweet June Rosie O'Grady. Haver. June Haver. That's correct. I was right. thinking of Betty and Grable. Debbie Reynolds. I think it was her first movie. It and was. I always think of Debbie selling her Girl Scout cookies to everybody. Was that her first film? I think it was. Uh huh. I think uh -huh. it was. Yes. And who else was in that? Dan Daly wasn't in that. No, was my it? first husband, Gene Nelson. Gene Nelson. Is yeah. that where you met Gene Nelson? No, I met Gene in New York. He was an ice skater when we met, and I was working in a Broadway show. Which and one then was that? He came out here. Which show which was show he is? in? No, which show were you were in? I was time. in Panama Hattie. Not oh, right. Right. And then uh, I said we met in Panama Hattie and married in Let's Face It, which yes. was Danny K show. Danny that was Next, yes. Right. Yeah. Gene Nelson, you were married for a long time. Eleven years. Uh -huh. Eleven years. Matter of fact, I understand when he, I interviewed him. Did and you? He, oh, he was wonderful. Uh -huh. Yes. He, he was working, he was teaching in Oakland oh, yeah. at the time. Yeah, he was and just before he died, he came and did my interview and he was mm. just wonderful. How nice. And I understand that you kept very good friends. Yes, till we the were, end. as a matter of fact. Yes. And matter of fact, you were there at the side when he died, I understand. Yes, I was. And, and our son. Yeah, you and have a son. Uh, yes, I, I we have a that. son. What does he do? He's an editor, a film editor, uh -huh. and he does wonderful things. He's been nominated several times. His name is? Chris Nelson. Chris Christopher Nelson. Christopher Nelson. Where is... <laughs> that love affair must have been really a hot love affair between you and Gene, because you, you both... Oh, yeah. You both danced together. In yes. Well, I assisted Gene on a lot of those movies. It, Warner Brothers. Uh -huh. I didn't really That's become right. you, known I myself think until after we Virginia broke up. Virginia Mail. You did a movie with right. Virginia Mail working through college. Working her way through college. That's right. Yes. Of course, that was a good movie. Yes, it was. I Warner it Brothers was didn't. Very Ronald Reagan was in that one. Was Ronald Reagan in yes, that? Yes, yes. He played a teacher. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Warner Brothers doesn't usually do musicals. They're very dramatic uh, studios. Well, I guess it? they were, but they did their share. Well, J Jimmy Cagney, I Cagney, yeah. yes, yeah. he was wonderful. He used to come and hang out and watch all the time when we were rehearsing. Oh, really? Yeah, he loved dancers. He's a great dancer. Oh, he, he was wonderful. Yeah. You he get had a crazy of kind of a style, you know. But he was, but he very was good. masculine. That yes, was his, very, very masculine. Very. Style. Gene Nelson was masculine too, as yes, a dancer. Yes, he was. In fact, the movie you're talking about, working with the college, I think the best number, one of the best all-time numbers I've ever seen, was in that. He did it in a gymnasium. Uh huh. And people thought there was a double for him in that, which wasn't. He did all his own work. Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. Tell me yeah. about that when you were at the uh, Easter show for the Radio City Music Hall. Oh. Tell me about Radio City Music Hall. Well, uh, the you, Easter show. That was your, Go ahead. Uh, let me think. It was, uh, that wasn't with Bing. It was Bob Hope had. All right, I have to go back one step. Okay. I did the Academy Award show. Right. And uh, it was on bicycles. And right. that's a long story. But uh, I got to have like 12 couples on bicycles. Uh -huh. And it was uh, based on Butch Cassidy and the Sundance right, Kid. When right. I went to the movie and saw him showing off on a bicycle, I said, right. oh, that would that, be fun. Good you know? scene, yeah. And uh, Mike Frankovich was our producer, and he allowed me to do that. Uh -huh. And then Bob Hope was the one that introduced the number oh, okay. on the Academy Award. Uh -huh. The next day I got a call from the head man at Radio City Music Hall in New York mm -hmm. and he said, I just saw the number, would you come and stage that for our Easter show? Mm -hmm. So I went to New York and staged that number with his people, mm -hmm. uh, or the music hall people. Mm -hmm. So that was wonderful. But you staged a lot of things for a lot of people in this town of Hollywood. Call. Oh yeah. Uh, right. Edie Gourmet and Steve Lawrence, you put oh, yeah. their thing together. You're right. I, I've done several television acts for them. shows. Uh huh. And Donald O'Connor too. I a did great my club dancer. act for Donald. Yes, and we I, had eight girls surrounding him and doing a lot of dancing. One of the great dancers of this town. Yes, 
and one of the nicest. Yeah, I went to school with him just for a brief time yeah. at the uh, HPS mm -hmm. on Hollywood Boulevard off of Western Avenue. It used to be a wonderful little school. Oh, I'm trying to think which HPS. one it was. HPS. Yeah, Hollywood Professional yeah. School, right course, on Western, of off of Western Avenue and Hollywood Prong. Boulevard. That's he correct. He used to work with... Uh, Absolutely. In Tom. fact, Louis Dupron got me my first job in television. Really? Yeah, as a choreographer. Yeah. What did you like? Did you, television or movies better? Oh, gosh. What's harder? Well, what is harder? harder is television uh, because, because it's, so it's a fast. Yeah. I used to do weekly shows, you know. Uh -huh. and, uh, Dean I'd, Martin? Yes. You've done many yes, Dean? Yes, Dean shows. And uh, I used to look at the watch and say, how much more time do I have for how much more music do I have to film? Right. You know, that's kind of the way it went. Alan King, Tony uh, Newley. Yes, they did um, Caesar's Palace. They both did their acts, but they had a number specially written for them. Uh -huh. And so I was hired to stage the number for them. Mm -hmm. They were fun. <laughs> I had a great time working Tony with Newley them. Tony great. Oh, yes. Yeah, Tony was such a perfectionist, you know. He, he said, if I do my whole act for you in a rehearsal hall, uh -huh. if you just come up with any little gimmick at all, I'll mm -hmm. appreciate it. And he did that. Uh -huh. And I, I came up with one little funny idea for the, with the microphone that he could do, and he liked that. What's been the hardest for you as, mm. as a, a choreographer in Hollywood? Because oh, my goodness. There are many here. There are many. There They're not are. the only one. There are many. Yeah. But and there are more and more and more. more, and, more you know, and all yeah. these young ones doing hip hop and all yeah. of that. And, yeah. What do you think you about know. that? Well, I think it's a fad. I think they're wonderful dancers, uh -huh. but they don't. Most of them don't have a real foundation in dancing. And if they ever change the style, I don't know what they'll do. Uh -huh. You know, because you really have to learn to do everything. True. 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 Uh huh. Uh, you also share. Tell me about share this wonderful organization oh, share. that you found. Well, I'm one. Of, one of the founders. There were five, and then there were two right away. So we always say there were seven. Who but, are they? Uh, oh gosh. You. Jeannie Martin, Dean's wife. Dean Martin. Um, yeah. Sheila McRae, Gordon's wife. She yes. actually called me and said, one of our friends is in trouble. Her mother is very ill and her uh -huh. husband is cheating on her and I think we should have her over for lunch and talk about things and get her out of the house you know uh -huh. just get her mind off of it so we did and uh, Gloria Franks at, uh, right. who was Sammy Kahn's wife at the time right. and uh, Paula Blythe was, mm -hmm. uh, her husband had pins I believe and Marge Chandler Ch Jeff yes, Chandler as well well at any rate we all showed up for the luncheon and the lady it was given for never showed up <laughs> And so, to this day, she or her husband, don't, they never knew uh -huh. Uh -huh. what happened. But during lunch, we just happened to casually say, what could we do that would be good, you know, something mm -hmm. nice? And uh, the first thing we thought of was collecting magazines for the old soldier's home. Right. And so Sheila's father took them out there. And then we did a few more things. Then we got pa baskets for needy people at Christmas time. That's wonderful. And it started it's a great just so small. And yes. now we raise millions of yes. dollars. Yes. And we help. We have 40 some facilities That's that great. we uh, are in charge of. You know, not charge, but I mean, we finance, finance and yes. give them money for things they need desperately. Okay. Yeah. What has been the joy for you for dancing? Oh, for but dancing. Yes. Gosh, all dancing is joyful to me. All dancers love. Oh, yeah. They love it, don't they? Yeah, I think there's, I don't know, I go and watch a ballet class, and they're all very uh -huh. stern, you know, and working. And you go watch a tap class, and they're, and they're just having the best time. So I think tap has been the wonderful uh, outlet for me. Uh -huh. Sesame Street. Tell me yes. about Sesame. Oh, my One goodness, of my favorite guys. I love this guy. Jim Hansen. Oh, so did I. You did some things with him. Yes. Tell me about the Muppet. Well, uh, curiously enough, those little Muppets were big Muppets when I did the show. It was okay. a traveling arena show, mm -hmm. and Bob Shipstead, whose father was part of Shipstead and Johnson, the ice show. Right. And uh, he hired me to do this. And you we did had an ice show, didn't you? I did one for him too at Radio City. Yeah, Radio City Music Hall. Yeah, okay. he hired me that. to do that yeah. too. Uh, but the Muppets were such fun. I got to know them all, you know, and oh. then I I was doing um, another show at the same time, and I was in Japan with the Playmates, the Playboy Playmates. The girls who, uh, the Playboys, oh, the Playmates, playmates. okay. We'll talk about uh, that in a minute. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to have enough time for all this conversation. Okay, at any rate, uh, I got a call while I was in Japan, could I come back a few days early and come to Canada because Jim Henson was shooting a movie there and he would have Sunday off uh -huh. and he could record the voices of all these characters that uh -huh. we had staged. And so I did, what's the other man's name? Oh, goodness, he's become a 
a good director too, but the two of them would do uh -huh. Bert and Ernie uh -huh. and uh, Oh, he used to do Kermit the Frog uh -huh. and a lot of those characters. Well, it was wonderful to see these older men with white beards, uh -huh. you know, and they're acting so silly. Silly for kids. Just silly because for kids. Because they're, they're one big kids. Right. They really are. Miriam yeah. Nelson, tell me yeah. about your, I mean, you keep yourself busy. Yes. Why do you keep yourself so busy? You're oh. in one town here, and then you're saying the Playboy, yeah. uh, Playmates. What's right. that all about, the Playmates? The Playmates, well... One of the girls was going with... This was in Manila, too, in the Philippines? Yes. Yeah, we Go went ahead. over there. Uh, one of the girls, Sonny, was going with Mr. Hefner at the time. Oh, okay. And they used to sing around the piano, a group, uh -huh. and they thought it'd be fun to have a little nightclub act. Uh -huh. So an agent that I knew called me and said, uh, come and see, you know, and the girls. stage it, yeah. And so I worked forever on that. I got a lot of money, uh -huh. Mr. Hefner, thank you. Yeah, okay. But uh, they started from scratch. They never danced. They uh -huh. didn't really sing. Is it difficult for people, for you to to work with when they don't dance? I, mean, I get a lot for some reason. I don't know if every choreographer gets as many as I do, but I get a lot of people who have never danced before, and really? I have to make them look like They're dancers. Real, well, yeah. this last job, I had to teach Keith Carradine how to be a, a song and dance man. He had oh. never tapped in his life. He was in Follies, but they never danced, really. Didn't I see him in Bro uh, the uh, Broadway thing? Yes, what Follies. Was the Follies? Yes, the Will Rogers Follies. The Will Rogers Follies. But believe yes, it or not, he never really danced. Do you put that to help them with that, then? You have no, uh, no, I, uh, well, not the Follies, no, no okay. but I worked with him to make him a dancer for this movie I just okay. did. Uh -huh. And he came to Estonia, uh -huh. Tallinn, Estonia. Estonia. Where is that? So many people say, where is that? It's between Finland and Russia. Okay. It's right in the middle. It's its own country. At one time, it was. It did belong to Russia. Okay. It did belong to Germany, I'm told. They're but filming now, there? Yes, yep. we just finished uh, mm -hmm. filming over there. But Keith was so, worked so hard. And he said it was out of fear because he had to really learn in a very short time. Uh -huh. And I tried to show him how to fake things because I said, I'll put the taps in, right. which I still have to do yet when they get it all put together. Uh -huh. And he said a funny thing because he said, you put... I told him I dubbed for a lot of people, even right. Crosby and Hope, when, if you want to go way back. You but I used to put yeah. their footsteps in, you know, or Betty Hutton. Of course, Hutton. of course. And uh, he said, what are you, the Marnie Nixon of the tap feet? <laughs> Which I thought was uh -huh. funny, because Marnie used to sing for everybody. You know? Right, right. So, uh, but Keith was wonderful to work with. And there were a lot of really good people in that movie, but nobody really that had to know how to dance mm -hmm. could dance. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, May I go back to the Muppets for yes, a moment? Yes, I made do. a tap star out of one of the Muppets, like a Ginger Rogers with the feathers and everything, uh -huh. and I had eight or ten monsters behind her <laughs> in top hats and tails, uh -huh. and we did a whole tap number just like it was out of a movie. Right, you know, right. We did right. it for real, and then I dubbed the taps. Well, uh, their feet, you know, the monsters yes. feet are humongous. Big, yes. And yet I dubbed each one uh -huh. you know, and made it sound like they were doing it. Everybody thought it was fantastic that they could tap like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> they don't know, you know, the audience is. I want to show my audience the first. I think this might be one of your first movies. Uh, 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 which one? Which, uh, what I'm going to show you tap dancing with uh, right now. The movie I. Oh, is that show. Duffy's Tavern? Duffy's, I think yeah. you mentioned. Duffy's Tavern. It is very early, early in my on. career. Early on. Let's go on. Let's okay. see this wonderful film you tap dancing right. for Duffy's Tavern. Okay. <laughs>
That's right. wonderful. Well, <laughs> Mary, God, looking at that, when you, what do you think of when you're looking at back of that thing? Oh. It's, oh, the work went the through The work it. was uh -huh. wonderful, and the excitement of seeing yeah. the sets being made. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A book. Tell me about a book. Hey. Well, I well, you know, wrote it. You've, wrote, you've taught many people. You've put them together. Right. Got to be in a book. It what came a, really out of the cruise ships that I've done now with all the stars, and people say, my God, you work with so many stars, you should write a book about it. Right. And it kind of threw me into it, and I, I started, and every chapter is about a different star that I've worked with, and right. my stories, you know, they're not anybody else's, just right. mine. So I'm looking at you. Did you have a good time, Marie? Oh, I had a great time. Really? You mean in life, in, life, in general? Yeah, yeah. yeah would you do there it have been a lot of you ups wouldn't and do it downs. This, would you do it the same way? Or well, I wouldn't make silly mistakes. <laughs> no, we all I would make be mistakes, smarter, you know. sure. Sen oh, Frank sure. Sinatra, tell me about, he worked on Cher with you, the one yes. organization. Oh, he did many, many shows. He was wonderful. He, uh, I, I always think back to one time when we had a uh, fashion show auction, uh -huh. and we had this wonderful coat to be auctioned off, and the girl was backstage. Well, all of a sudden, out came Frank in the fur coat and the tiara. Oh, really? <laughs> auctioning off the coat. Oh, and then we had the Rat Pack. He helped a know. lot of people. Oh, many. Great. Many, many people, yes. Great entertainer. Yes. One of the best. And he would show up for share parties for you know years and years. He did it. Uh -huh. He was wonderful. It's a great organization. I love I that organization. So. And you guys are doing a great job. God oh, bless you both. We oh, have every... so many wonderful members, you know, that are really working so hard all the time. Uh -huh. And we do all our own work. We don't have any paid people out there working for us. Well, that's great. Yes. Thank you, Marion. Thank you, Skippy. I, I enjoyed being with you today.